money changes people for the better, for the worse, or even just a slight change. Paper doesn't change them. It's the power that goes along with it that does. I've been following the Ace family since they had like, I think it was 50,000 subscribers. And I don't really watch their videos that much anymore. I've seen them change and I don't know how I feel about it quite yet. There's been rumors for the past year about Austin cheating on Catherine. But recently, I guess uh, there's some more proof of it. I do believe that Austin has cheated on Catherine. I don't know how many times. I don't know how long ago. I don't know if it's recent or if it's in the past. But listen, I truly believe Austin has cheated on her. He's a young man with lots of money, okay? And I'm pretty sure Catherine does believe some of this stuff. But she's not gonna tell us that she does because her loyalty is with her man. But if this is true and Catherine knows about it, I don't think she's gonna leave him. I really don't think so. They both invested so much in their family and in their business that I don't think she would leave because of that, which is very sad. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the facts. I don't know if he's cheated or not. Just my opinion. So there's this guy by the name of Cole Kerrigan. He has 163,000 subscribers. Now, I don't know who he is. I don't follow him. While I'm scrolling through his videos, it seems like he's, um, he's part of the beauty community. He's in the makeup world. That's what it looks like to me. But lately, he's been tweeting stuff saying that Austin has been cheating on Catherine and he's getting pissed off that he's making all these women sign NDA forms. And since they can't tell it, he's going to tell it because most of them are his friends. So this video is called The Truth About the Ace Family. I hope you haven't watched it. I hope this is the first time because it's awesome when we all watch it together. Mind you, if he is lying, he's got a lot to lose because the Ace Family has lots of money and they will sue for defamation of character. I don't know. I don't think he would risk something like this. So let's go ahead and watch this video. All right, let's go. What's up, you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know I haven't uploaded a video in a few weeks now. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I'm doing a Halloween series where I'm posting 31 makeup looks this month, so it is definitely occupied a lot of my time. This type of video is something that I immediately needed to sit down and film as soon as- I hate when the camera doesn't focus because sometimes we can't tell because we're looking at the lens and not necessarily at the screen. Oof, I hate it. I came to the conclusion that it was necessary and it needed to be done. So I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking what does Cole Kerrigan have to do with the Ace family? Why is he inserting himself in something that has nothing to do with him? He should just become a drama channel at this point. Whenever it involves people that I love, I don't care who you are. I will speak what I want to speak. And if I have facts to speak, it will be said. Point blank period. I don't care who you are. I don't people with money and power believe they can shut anybody up. And that's why they get away with so much, including Donald Trump. Here, if you're the Ace family. Before I get into the specific incident that happened with my friends, I'm just gonna do a little backtrack rerun really quick. Obviously, living in LA and being in the scene, you see a lot of things behind closed doors that you don't see on camera. It was kind of weird that Catherine wasn't at Austin's birthday party. I thought it was weird that I saw him out at clubs multiple times without Catherine, that's none of my business, whatever. Not that big of a deal. So a few months ago, June 22nd to- Well, that's because some relationships are okay with it. When it comes to Pris and I, my wife, we have this mutual rule where we don't go clubbing without each other. Now in their relationship, I'm pretty sure Austin uses the excuse of networking. Or his wife just trusts him and lets him do his thing. I don't know. To be exact, I was still living in the Team 10 house and I got a call from one of my good friends. She was hysterically crying. I've ne never heard anyone feel so distraught in my life. I was so scared and she began to explain to me that she was in Miami with Austin McBroom and a bunch of other people, including his assistant, his dad, security guards, 
other girls XYZ happened. I'll get into that. So when I saw this tweet going around of Austin and Catherine working in a restaurant or whatever, I saw a lot of people's reactions and how upset people were because they thought that there were some perfect happy family. I thought this whole time that everybody knew that it was bullshit and a lie. That's why I kind of just stayed in my own lane and kept quiet about this whole situation. But once I saw people coming forward after my tweet and DMing me. His tweet is, I normally would never make a video like this, but I think I'm going to tonight for the sake of my friend and every other victim involved with Austin McBroom. You have two fucking daughters, you sick fuck. I have every receipt. Do I do it since they paid off drama alert 500,000 to hush? Oh shit. About their personal experience with So these are messages. Have you told anyone? No, I haven't. No one but my sister and I've just told her I'm pregnant, nothing else. What the fuck? Why would you tell someone? Unblock my number. Don't say shit to anyone else. Unblock my number. What the fuck, man? That baby probably isn't mine anyway. Please, can we just talk. Call me when you're ready to. Leave me alone, please. I don't know. You can download any app and actually create uh, messages as if you're communicating with someone. I heard that that's fake. So I'm not too sure about that one. Austin, I knew that this probably has happened more. Hey, I'm not sure if you need anything more for your video, but I was actually dating Austin's chef. Will from April will from april to from april to july and would take him to and from work sometimes and austin almost fired him before because i said something about a hotel he booked for this girl at the ritz carl carlton so i'm glad you're making this video oh no more than once and if no one comes forward about it it will happen Another one, yo, I literally know someone who Austin tried to hook up with at a club here in New York City and she knew it was wrong, so she ran away. Oh my God, yo, they're all messaging him, pretty much giving him the fire to put out this video. Happen again. So obviously my tweet got a lot of attention and someone from Austin McBruton's team actually texted my friend that this happened to. I'll put the screenshot. Oh no. I think it's in your best interest if you told Cole to stop. If he proceeds, you both are looking at some serious consequences. I'm actually a, fend a friend of yours, just trying to help you. Be smart, girl. Wait, what? Who is this? You're already involved. Just because he didn't mention your name doesn't matter. You gave him the information that he knows whether it's true or false. Listen, if, th if these messages are true, whoever that is, is basically telling her to hush and tell him to hush. So there's something going on. Oh no. Right here, basically saying that we should be careful and we shouldn't go any farther than what we're already doing to avoid legal action. And I proceeded to tell her, they're just trying to scare you. I just went through this exact same thing, so I'm not scared. I also didn't sign an NDA, and I also don't tolerate the shit that has happened to my friend. But even if he didn't sign the NDA, I thought that that friend can still get in trouble because that friend informed him with the information. That's still going against that, that contract. Let me know if I'm wrong, comment below. So with that being said, I told her to ignore that message because what needs to be said is going to be said regardless and if I need to say it, I'll do it because I didn't sign the NDA, come arrest me. So after that tweet, Keemstar, aka Drama Alert, reached out to me through DM saying to give him a call whenever I could. Oh no, Keemstar. Uh oh, let's see what he said. Hey Cole, can I get your cell for a quick chat? Scared. Don't be. Call you in 10. Oh my god, this is crazy. Oh shit. So I called him and he basically asked me what was going on, what happened, why I tweeted that, and the story behind it. I basically gave him a small rundown of what happened and he proceeded to ask me if he could reach out to my friend that it happened to and get her to speak so he could put a video together. He was asking me all sorts of questions so I knew that he was already recording me to probably add to his video. Uh. So after we hung up, I talked to her and I just told her really how much she would be helping other girls and not only herself and getting justice for herself. but helping other people in the future from this happening. I, I convinced her to talk to him. Whenever I did, he kind of went ghost. And at this point, I just thought that maybe he had gotten everything that he needed. 
so in the morning everything would be cleared and the truth would be out and we wouldn't have to deal with this anymore. So we kind of just stayed low because we, we saw a bunch of tweets about people already knowing that he was uploading a video the next day about the situation. So we kind of were just like not worried and we were just going to kind of let it unfold that way so we didn't have to insert ourselves where it wasn't needed. The next day came and he didn't tweet anything, he didn't upload anything, so I texted him saying how much did they pay you to keep quiet and he oh. responded with this. Damn. Damn. Oh, sh so how much did they pay you to not make a video? 500k. Damn, I, I believe these messages, yo. I believe these messages because Cole has a lot to lose right now. He's only at 160,000 subs. That's pretty much nothing, okay? Not only that, but he lives in the city of LA, California, where everyone lives in the YouTube world. He knows he can lose so much, but he's willing to risk it all to put the truth out there. Oh my God, oh my God. It, this is why I, uh, this is crazy. And this is why I haven't been watching the Ace Family lately. It's because I've seen the change in them and and I, I, I man, it's disappointing what money can do to, to some people. Oh, shit. And I was completely shocked. I immediately called my friend and told her that he was paid off $500,000 to keep quiet about the situation. Damn. And that I needed to come forward. Obviously, she was really hesitant about this because that would lead to more information about her being put out there. If she didn't want to do this, she didn't have to, and I wanted to make her feel as comfortable as possible, but she agreed that the truth needed to come out, and if this happened before, Austin will do it again. Side note, the reason why I am filming this for my friends is because just like every other girl that this has happened to, they're afraid to come forward, and I would be too if I was a victim in this type of situation. It can be really scary dealing with somebody with such power, and I think that's the main reason why a lot of people haven't come forward, because they're afraid of not being heard, or getting shut down, or even getting a lawsuit in the mail, because that's the type of person that Austin is, and if you sign an illegal NDA, that's definitely something that he would pursue in, but from my personal experience with Team 10 and NDAs and contracts and getting sued, when it comes to a crime like rape, NDAs don't fucking matter. But I am respecting my friend's wishes because she- Okay, so I think he's gonna talk about it being rape and not a mutual sexual encounter. Oh no, this got serious real quick. She is too ashamed and embarrassed that she doesn't want to show her face and admit that on camera to millions of people to see. And that's why I'm here to do that for her because there is no way that I can go move on knowing that this shit is happening behind closed doors. With a father of two, it's just, it, it blows my mind. With that being said, I'm just not going to hold back at all. My friend sent me every screenshot and receipt that I need. It's in your hands to decide what you want to do with that. One of my friends was texting back and forth with Austin about their trip to Miami and what girls that she should bring with her for him. I'm going to put up the screenshots right oh here. Oh my uh, gosh, this is getting real, yo. How about her? Send one more pic. Her shit private. Oh my god. Sending pictures of the girl to Austin and him replying with that. Here's another one. No, it's not. She has a lot of fake and fan pages and shit. Here is another. Yeah, I seen. I seen. Cool. Laughing my ass off. My guy is about to text you. She wants to know who's going. Your usual squad, right? She asked if you have hot, if you have hot friends. Laughing emojis. I can't hear anything laughing my ass off. LOL. She said that sounds good. Also, I have hot friends that live in Miami too since I'm from there. I'll send it now. Now, what, why does Austin want to bring hot females around? You have a wife, bro. You have a wife. Even if it's just for your friends, let your friends bring them. Let them do their thing. Another one. 
So after the girls were approved, I guess, after he swiped right and left, like this is Tinder. That's um, crazy. Here is the next message of them talking about the address and... I'll send it now. I know you do, haha. Sending Eddie soon. You pack yet? LOL. Okay, a little bit, LOL. Are we taking a jet back? Trying to. We still have flights if not, though. Okay, thank you. You good? And if she had packed, yada, 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 talking about the private jet. So now I'm going to also insert a screenshot between my friend and Austin's assistant of her saying that they are here. Oh, that's the address, 1130. Okay, we're here. Where do we go? Come all the way down to the end of the parking structure. Okay. And a link from for the yacht that they were on. And then here's also a screenshot of the link. That was sent to you guys know it was for a yacht. Okay, so now fast forward two days later, June 22nd, when they are on the yacht, whatever, everybody's drinking, having a good time. I'm also gonna insert a picture right here of... Okay, that's Chantel and Austin. Okay, and the dad's right there. And you know what I did notice about what Austin does when he is around females? even if they're friends, he, he literally goes out of his way to make sure that the picture doesn't look like he's with them. All the time, you see how his hands are crossed in front of him, creates a little bit of a distance, and then she, her back is turned against him. He'll only take those kind of pictures. A lot of guys do that, okay? Doesn't mean you, you didn't fuck them after that picture was taken. And I'm not talking about Chantel. I'm not talking about their situation. I'm just saying in general. Take a quick picture, make it look friendly, and then fuck around after the picture. Austin and his dad together at Live the night before this happened, so you guys have proof that the dad was there on the trip. And that said, if this is all true, it's very sad that the dad knows what's going on, what Austin's been doing, and it's disappointed because I like, I like the dad. I actually like the father. After they all had been drinking, my two friends went back to their room to go change because the sun was setting. And that's when Austin, the security guard, the father, and two other guys came into their room. Obviously, I don't have recordings that went down in the room, but my friend told me that she repeatedly said no multiple times over and over and over to the point where she started crying, begging them to stop. That's when they forced themselves in her, and I will insert the photo. <gasps> oh my God. It wasn't just Austin. So basically what he's saying is that she was gang raped. This is, uh, this is serious, bro. This is so serious. And this is a serious accusation. So I, I believe him. I don't know this guy. I can't go off of his character because I don't know. I don't follow his videos or follow him. But I truly believe him. You would never make a serious ac accusation like that for clout, okay? I know there's some crazy people out there, but I can see that he's genuine. I can see it. I can see it. Photos of the blood all over the bed sheets in the hotel room right here on the exact same date, June 22nd. Now, Damn. after this had happened to them, Obviously, they're fucking traumatized. To them. So it didn't just happen to one of the girls. It happened, it happened to the other ones, too. So they hide out in their room for hours. Wow. This screenshot is going to be one of Austin McBroom's friends texting them three times within a three-hour period on June 22nd, right after they raped her. What up? Did you, did you die? You're dead? No, I'm not. What are you doing? Getting ready. Cool. Did y'all get back? Yes. Okay, try to make sure you ain't late if you can. Saying, what up? Then they didn't reply, because they're obviously traumatized. And then two more texts saying, did you die? Are you dead? I'm also gonna insert this screenshot right here of my friend texting her ex-boyfriend that lived in Miami, saying that they were- Hey, me and my friend are in a bad situation right now in Miami. Just wondering if you could help, thanks. You okay? No, my friend got raped, and I'm pretty sure we're in danger. Wow, I don't know what to say. Where are you, and why still in danger? I know, so sorry to bring this upon you. Just don't have anyone out here in Miami to help us out. So sorry. Oh my god. 
in a bad situation and needed help because her friend got raped. Her friend being the other girl that they were with, aka my friend. So obviously since I wasn't there and I know how you guys can be on the internet with every little detail, I'm literally just gonna call my friend because like I said, she did not want to be seen or come forward in anything. Oh my so gosh. So I'm literally gonna call her right now so she can give you guys in more depth and detail of what happened that day. Listen, before I even play that, if this is true, bro, and, and I, I fucking believe it, Austin needs to pay for this shit. He needs to get locked up for this shit. I don't care about, remember, I've been a follower since that, since that 50,000 subs, okay? I don't care. I'm a protector when it comes to women. I'm such a protector. If he did this, he needs to get locked up. On June 22nd, uh, we went back and we started getting ready for the vote and jet skis that day. Um, we went to the jet skis for a little and then we ended up going on the boat and drinking a lot. So after the boat, we docked up back at the rental house that we were all staying at. And then everyone went in their rooms to shower and change. So that's what me and my friend did. We went to a room. And mind you, me and my friend are pretty drunk, not to the point where we can't remember anything. But so we start taking our bathing suits off and we turn the shower on and we're both naked. And all of a sudden, I hear the door open and it's Austin McGroom. And he's just like, oh, hey, like, what are you guys doing? You know, like, just being really flirty. And then he, like, comes and starts, like, rubbing on my arm and then just talking to us. And then before I know it, he's one of his, uh, like, basketball player friends comes in the room, too, and is, like, trying to do the same thing, touching us. I was we're naked. We are literally naked. And, you know, we're not, like, pushing them off because we're so drunk we're really not even capable of like pushing them off of us but the next thing I remember is unfortunately being on the bed and his NBA player friend was having sex with me I don't ever remember giving him consent to the next thing I remember is looking up and Austin's dad Alan is there and I am seeing him unbuckle his pants, pull down his pants and pull out his penis in front of my face, basically wanting me to suck his penis. Um, I remember that I did not because Austin's security guard ended up walking in after the dad walked in and at that point I remember just getting up from the bed and walking into the bathroom to see what the f was up to. And all of a sudden, I hear her yelling no and screaming and crying. And uh. all of the guys start rushing out of the room because my friend is literally hysterical crying, sobbing. And she's just sitting in the shower. And then after that, we just got in bed and we were just crying for the rest of the night. We didn't come out of our room for hours. We were disgusted, ashamed. Like, we, we were in the dark the rest of the night, we couldn't even get up, so when I finally got up to turn on the lights, I realized that there was blood all over the bed, and neither of us had our periods, so we knew it wasn't from that, it was because they forced it into my friend. I remember when she was in the shower because that's when she called me hysterically crying and, and explained to me what happened with after that, we just did not come out of our rooms for the rest of the night, not even the next morning, until we had our flights booked by his assistant again. Um, did the pizza ever get here? Hey, so our flight got delayed and it's saying we're going to miss our connecting flight because of it. You can talk the front desk at the airport and they would just have to put you on something you can connect to and there could be a possible flight change. Flight change with a different airline. Okay. And we packed our bags, um, we said goodbye and all of them. It was the awkwardest experience I've ever had because they know that, they know what happened the night prior was wrong. It was just a really awkward 
goodbye, and then we just rush out and we left. Alright, well, I love you. I'll call you after I'm done filming this, but thank you for explaining to me what happened again. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Okay, so now that you literally have the point of view from somebody who was actually there, that is enough proof, and I really don't need to provide anything else. I think else so too, for you to see honestly. Austin, his dad, his whole security team are pieces of shit. And these are not people that should be given all this crazy amount of success. Or support. Rape is a serious accusation. I don't believe that he is going out of his way for the clout. I can't live with knowing that this type of person who's doing these things to people is just like winning at life, literally having everything just handed to them, money, fame, da 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 da. But I'm just gonna leave that at that because that's a whole nother conversation. I hate knowing that something this serious could put an end to the Ace family or such a loved group of people. Like I don't want to be that person and that's not what I'm here to do. I don't want to split up a family. I don't want to end relationships because I've been getting a lot of messages like that. Oh, why don't you stay quiet? Why are you trying to ruin or end this family? It's not about that. Like that's the last thing I want to do is rip someone's family apart or anything. But whenever something this serious happens and it's to my friend and multiple other people are coming forward about other experiences. It's just not something that I as a person can stay quiet on. It's just against my morals and it's something I absolutely won't do. So that's why I am here making this video for them so they don't have to, I guess, humiliate themselves in their eyes uh, on camera in front of thousands of people. Like I have been judged by the world so many times that at this point I really don't give a fuck. This is literally just to bring awareness to people who are in a similar situation that it's okay and it happens and you're not alone. So I hope you guys take something from this that not everything is what it seems to be online. A lot of dark, scary shit goes on behind closed doors, especially in LA. But I'm gonna stop inserting my opinion because this was a factual video only. So I'm just gonna shut it and leave it at that. Um, I don't really know how to end a video like this, but I love you guys. Thank you for watching and have a good night. Oh my goodness. The Ace family has a lot to explain. I, I want, I, I'm so curious to know what's gonna happen next. Obviously, Catherine and Austin, they're gonna stay quiet for a while, but behind closed doors, I'm pretty sure they're gonna end up trying to sue him for defamation. But in order to successfully sue him for defamation, they have to prove that he made up these lies. And in his defense, he can easily bring up all these receipts to court and explain to the court that, you know, these are facts. This is not me lying. This is not me trying to create problems, drama, or even trying to tarnish someone's name. What do I think about this? I think it happened. I think the rape happened. And this is coming from a subscriber of the Ace family. I was a supporter of them until recently, the last few months, I haven't been watching them as much. Everything was seemed to be like business, 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 money, 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 let's try to make more, more, more. Just even them getting the mansion, instead of getting one type of mansion, you get two mansions put together. Getting a jet ski to use on a pool that's creating issues with the neighbors. It's like, what's going on right now? That money has got them, has got, it's got them so crazy in the head right now, especially Austin. And it's sad to see that because they are a beautiful family. I don't know what's going on, man. I think Austin did bad judgment that night. And I don't know if it's happened. If it's happened more than once, then it's not just bad judgment. It's who he is. But I think this happened. Let me know what you believe. You don't have to agree with me. That's not the point of this channel. I want to hear everyone's opinions, different or not. Comment below. I don't even know if I should tell y'all to like, comment, share, and subscribe and all that stuff because this video is because it was so serious. I didn't know it was about rape. That's crazy. That's crazy.